Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass and today uh, I make this video for uh, all the big fan of battery building. Uh, this video is uh, for uh, those who want to test the capacity of their battery, uh, which uh, needs sometimes serious power. So um, I know that uh, a few of you guys are um, familiar with um, you know these cells and sometimes you want to uh, test multiple of them in a big battery pack so a few of you will have some of these resistors that you can find everywhere on eBay and uh, electronic superstore you can put a few in parallel but sometimes you need more power so you can also buy this uh, big battery uh, discharger it can go up to uh, 140 watt but uh, I prefer to be conservative to 100 watt uh, to not blow it uh, this one is modified but when it comes to more power you can also get some of these bigger resistors which this one is uh, 250 watt uh, it's uh, 0 0.1 ohm so this one has been made for um, uh, in fact, testing a single cell uh, at about 30 amps, something like that. But uh, when you want to test a big battery pack with higher voltage, um, and you, you need some time more power. So this is why you need some of these big resistors here. This one is actually uh, about two kilowatt. Uh, problem is that once you go higher, higher and higher power, uh, sometimes these big resistors will smell really bad. <laughs> because they get really hot and the dust on these I will just make a really bad smell. So I found a really nice solution that I had in my mind for a few years now, which is this one. So this is a big hair dryer, uh, 1875 uh, 1, watt. You know what, this one is, uh, I know it's um, stable uh, resistance, so you cannot adjust uh, to uh, give a different current, it's a fixed resistance. Uh, but when you, it comes to about uh, 80 to uh, 90 to 100 volt battery pack, this is a great solution because it also have the cooling fan because it's in fact <laughs> hair dryer. <laughs> so you don't need to install any cooling system. It's a load with its own cooling system uh, in one piece. So this is really nice. And uh, when you can get these for cheap, you can buy something like these so you have one two three four five six seven up to ten of these uh, something really nice is that when you dis disassemble these you put a multimeter and take the hair dryer and measure the ohms you I just removed the um, uh, the handle on this one and measured directly at high uh, 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 setting uh, uh, for the heat on the button and you get about 9.6 ohm which means that if you combine about 10 in parallel you will get about 1 ohm and at 1 ohm and 100 volt it's about 100 amp which mean about um, <laughs> 10 kilowatt but in fact if you have 10 of these you get about 8 18, uh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, 18,000 watts of load, which is awesome for the price because all these hair dryer cost me about uh, $80. So uh, this is in fact a great find that I uh, wanted to test. So uh, I will make another video when I will disassemble all these and put them in uh, parallel and combine in the series parallel for uh, some different uh, voltage of the battery. So uh, guys, uh, I hope you appreciate it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.